Xanadu is a romantic musical made popular 30 years ago when Olivia Newton-John played the title role on the big screen, one of my favorites, and the Albuquerque Little Theater is staging the musical this month. Mandy Farmer and Michael Raskin play the leading roles of Kira and Sonny, and Henry Avery is the Albuquerque Little Theater's executive and artistic director and co-director of Xanadu. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy you're all here. You know, Xanadu is one of my favorite movies of all time. I've watched about a billion times. But some of our viewers, you know, some of them like me will remember the movie, but there are those who may not be quite as familiar. So let's talk a little bit first about the plot. You tell us about the plot, Henry. Well, the plot is about a muse that comes down to earth to inspire an artist. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, they fall in love, uh, really, but the, uh, their wicked sister, her wicked sisters, put a spell on her. They think they're going to make her fall in love, but they fall in love anyway. So true love uh, triumphs, and we have a wonderful musical comedy ending. <laughs> well, you know, at the end of the day, true love does always triumph. Always. That is the message, right? And Michael, Mandy, I have to talk to you about this because the movie, obviously, starring Olivia Newton-John, it came out back in the 1980s, which dates <coughs> me because, like I said, it was one of my favorites. But I'm guessing it might have been a little before your time. So have you ever heard of it? Have you ever seen the film? Um, I've heard of the film. I've seen a couple of clips from it here and there. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I got into rehearsals for the, for the musical, I thought, well, I might as well go back and look at some of the clips. I haven't mm -hmm. seen it full all the way through, but uh, it's different, you know. I'm not going to be a critic and say that it sucked or it didn't. <laughs> well, I think you're better looking than the lead actor. Was. Oh, thank you. I do. And what about you, Mandy? I, I hadn't even heard of the film until of the show because usually it's the, the film comes after the Broadway show. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. once, once I was. Um, heard that the show was coming to ALT, then I saw the movie just to get more into the character. Well, you obviously look the part. I mean, when you watch the movie, if you've seen it, then uh, you know Olivia has that gorgeous blonde hair, the blue eyes, and she's just absolutely beautiful. You, you, you. really you replicate it perfectly. And, and so I want to ask you how you've made the part your own, each of you. you go first. How do I make it my own? Gosh, yes. it's it's just make believe. It's pretend. It's so much fun. It's mm -hmm. like you're a little kid again, and you're making believe that you're a muse. And mm -hmm. my character gets to be three different people. So that's right. I get to be a muse and an Australian, and then a southern girl from Alabama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, I was actually going to ask you about the accents because I know you're using several accents mm -hmm. throughout the show. So how did you master that? How did you work on that? The Australian was the hardest because it's such a different dialect mm -hmm. from anything else. But, Very specific. Um, yes. I listened to uh, radio stations, Australian radio stations online. And I, I tried to listen to how they say stuff. Um, and then I watched YouTube tutorials. Mm. I mean, there's everything on YouTube, like how to do your hair, how to do your clothes. There's a tutorial how to speak like an Australian. I so. love it. Well, and obviously, as we can see right now, you're on your roller skates. Most of the movie, most of the show is done on roller skates. Mm -hmm. So did you have prior training on skates? Was this a new thing for both of you? None. Completely yeah. new. What about you? Pretty much brand new. At first, it was kind of uh, intimidating. But we have a really good skate coach, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we've had a lot of time. I'm on there and it seems dangerous and it seems like we're going to get hurt, but we won't. I, I trust you. Well, you know, it's hard enough to sing, act, and dance. Now you're, sing, act, you're singing, acting, dancing, and skating. skating. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole other element. So we'll have a great appreciation when we mm -hmm. see the show. And Henry, I want to talk about why did you decide to bring Xanadu in the first place to the Little Theater? Well, the movie always got sort of a bum rap, mm -hmm. but the uh, Broadway show that opened in uh, 2007 was a whole new concept. Mm -hmm. It kept that incredible 80s uh, music, right. but it brought a whole new book with a lot of humor, mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Uh, so we had to bring it. It's such a, a good uh, piece for Albuquerque. It hasn't been done here um, in a big scale. There was a, a smaller production recently, right. but we're bringing it full blast. And on the screen, you can see all the details, of course, of the performance, and we'll bring that back at the end of the segment. But I also want to talk real quickly about the fact that you're installing a new floor at the theater. It's really important for the community to help out financially because we really want to support the Little Theater and be able to continue to bring this amazing entertainment to our community. So how can viewers contribute in that way? Well, thank you. Uh, the floor is 77 years old. The theater itself is in its 83rd season. Um, PNM was so generous and gave us the uh, the uh, grant to start the uh, campaign to redo the floor. We still need money. If people would like to contribute, we're going to be doing it this summer as soon as Singing in the Rain closes, which is our final show of the season. Uh, and as soon as that closes, we'll start on the work on the new floor. So if anybody would like to send checks to the uh, theater, uh, and you can put on their stage floor, 
floor. We certainly would appreciate it. We re need to raise about another fifteen thousand okay. dollars to make it happen. We got two shows to do it. It's yeah. Well, you happen. said you said singing in the rain. I don't want to cut you off, but I just want to let our viewers know about the rest of the upcoming season. What other shows can they expect in addition to singing in the rain? Well, Singing in the Rain closes this uh, 82nd season, mm -hmm. and then right after we uh, do the new floor, we'll be opening the new season with Spring Awakening, which oh, is a fabulous amazing. Broadway hit. It's a little um, edgy for uh, mm -hmm. Albuquerque, and I it think is. it's going to be a great step forward for not only for the Albuquerque Little Theater, for Albuquerque in general. So it's mm -hmm. a great opportunity. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Then we open the new season with 9 to 5, mm -hmm. uh, oh, and yeah. we close yeah. it with the producers, So and we do ha uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, we do La Cage of Faux, Ooh. and then for Christmas we do It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, so great season. Yes. Join us. Amazing season. And of course, if you have seen Xanadu or if you haven't, the music is spectacular. I, I'm telling you, my whole family, we still sing every song from Xanadu. And one of my favorites is Magic, and you're going to perform that for us today. Yes. So I'm going to let you take the stage. We're going to step away. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Mandy and Michael, Kira and Sonny with Magic. dream moment. I just I just walked into my favorite movie. You guys are incredible. Let Thank me tell you. everybody one more time how they can get tickets to Xanadu. Of course, it is playing at the Albuquerque Little Theater April 6th to the 29th, Friday and Saturday from 8 p.m., Sunday 2 p.m. performances. You don't want to miss out. This is going to be a spectacular show. And of course, there's also a special performance Thursday, April 19th. Thank you all so Thank much. You. Thank you. You just made my day. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. Thank you. And we're going to give you a Xanadu t-shirt. Hot Yay! pink. We know Honorary. what a fan you are, so have one. Thank you <laughs> all so, so much. Back. Oh, the back, too. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Then bring on. 